Yale Brothers, Episode 68. Here we are again up in my little studio. Oh, it's a cute little studio. It's the Yale Brothers. How how are you? How are you? This is Roger. What's up, man? I'm Chris. And we're the Yale Brothers. Yeah, we are. Man, this is where yeah. you live your inner life in here, isn't it? The life of the mind. Yeah. I'm surrounded by papers, books, guitars. Yes, your dusty old papers. Music, my parchments. Parch. Yeah, at least, and you have the long beard, kind of. So it's no, like I, you, I trimmed it. You should, and you have those kind of like um, 
round scholarly looking reading glasses. Yeah, cheaters. Yeah, God, it remind me. Is it Dominic Dunn or someone like that? I think so. I think so. Could Roy Mosley. Yeah, and you look all kind of literati. Oh yeah, that's it. That's me. I don't, like Illuminati it. literati. And you open the book and it plops down. And you have to blow dust out of it, and dust cloud comes up with the of big papers. Yes, that's yes. funny. There's a manuscript museum in Charleston. Did you ever go in there? No, but you told me about it. It's a trip. Taylor and I went when she was still going to college at Charleston, but we had a different uh, idea of what it might be like. We thought it might be an old, dusty place. Yeah, it's not. You know, with a guy nice with a clean. beard and glasses and with stacks of old uh, manuscripts and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was more like a museum and it was all orderly and nice with some, you know, copies of documents on display under glass. It was not huh. at all. We were very disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not like the 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 book binding shop that was in, cool. in Hollywood but the people used to go get their scripts bound. Yeah, some some kind of uh, Eastern European guy was in there. Yeah. He was there for years, wasn't he? Oh yeah. Uh with putting gold embossing on binding and stuff like that. Yeah, amazing old toothless man. Oh my god. And by the way, I'm glad you uh played City of Pain. Oh yeah, why? I don't know. Wesley has been posting about it. He loves it. Yeah, I put the video up yesterday because I saw Wesley's post. Like a Facebook memory? You Something, and, yeah. You in those leather pants? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I almost told our friend Daniel that there. he said I got to get a pair of those pants. Yeah. I almost said you can have Chris as they're standing up in the corner unwashed. Yeah, right. I'm not... Uh, Jim Morrison. No, no. Uh, Rick Springfield. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they said, the, the laundry lady say he had the nastiest laundry. Yeah, it yeah. was a dude who did his costumes, oh. or, and he said he had bad B.O. But, oh. I mean, we can't verify that, but, you know. I don't want to. But Jim Morrison, you know, wore the same leather pants over and over, kind of like yours, and never washed them either. Well, how do you wash leather pants, man? I mean, you got to take, take them to the dry cleaners, Jerry. I guess. I mean, you... <laughs> They have to be washed somehow. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't see your pants here, so they're, they're must be, are they long gone? Your leather pants? Oh man, I have them. I sh- I wish I kept the shirt. I still have the hat from the video, but I I, I give the sh- gave the shirt away. I should have put it in the Smithsonian. <laughs> uh, well, well, let me ask you a question. Why why don't you just wear those leather pants to the cigar shop? I can't fit into them now. Plus, can you imagine what the guys will say when they see you walk in? <laughs> yeah, they'll say, man. I wish I could have pants like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I you imagine it. all those guys with leather pants on? Do I have Sitting to? around the lounge. It would be a different sort of lounge. It would be cool, but then you got to add some chains and stuff. Yeah, and that's not my scene. Like the Ra- Rob Halford kind of chaps, yeah. things like that. <laughs> or like the like a captain's hats made out of leather. Yeah, oh, yeah, perfectly, and a little choker. Oh, yeah, yeah. With and studs harness. on it. Yeah, yeah, not me, man. Yeah, Okay, it's well, a little bit too village people for me, man. I would do it. You By the would, way, I you? saw that you know those telephone work, uh, whatever they call them, interface, whatever at corners where guys open it up, the communications guys, yeah. the intersections, and they're fiddling around. Yeah. Well, yesterday, some guy, I guess some guy or girl, yeah. left their hard hat on top. Oh boy! Of the thing, they were long gone. I said, Brenda, we could get that. We could snake. We can snatch up that hard hat, and then I could wear it at gigs. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Just have a hard hat, put it on sometimes. I think that's uh, slightly too village people, it, man. But I thought exactly village people. You got to get the big butch, on? butch mustache. Do the village people have a ballad we can play in the duo? They don't have any ballad I'm going to play. <laughs> you, anyway, you want me to leave while but, you play it? That's it was, cool. But that it was an orange hard hat. Why don't you just go rent We Can't Stop the Music or whatever the, the uh, worst the worst movie in the history of movie making? Isn't that what it's called? Is that Alan Carr? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Was, um, oh, God. I didn't watch it. No, but the village people were in it. I think Bruce Jenner was in it. <laughs> and he was Perfect. Bruce. It was Bruce Perfect. Jenner. Perfect, back man. Then. Was he not in it? We'll check for the show notes. I don't I know. Was, Why don't you just review the film? It was terrible. I, I just understand it was terrible. I understand there was a lot of cocaine. That figures. How about trying to mix down shit high on blow? Or speed. I mean, it doesn't make sense. You, you're, oh, no, no, no. That's too, no. If you already have a, a touch of perfectionism, yeah. 
you won't get it done. Yeah, but plus you can't hear the the, the frequencies, right? Oh, well, just listen to some of the 70s stuff. How about like uh, Tusk? Oh, <laughs> it had like the mid range is gone or so, or the, I don't, maybe, maybe the lows and I don't know, man, it was it sounded weird. No, but we would never do something like that on our uh, respective Zoom L8s. Why? Because we have no cocaine. <laughs> it would kill us. Maybe not. Why? Well, I'm uh, sick. I'm tired of speaking of intoxicants. Yes, me too. No, I I love talking about intoxicants. I just sick of doing them. <laughs> well, um, and but I'm still, you haven't done any in my whole life. No, no I mean for a long, long time. I, I've only read about that stuff. Yes, sir. I know you have. Um, I'm still failing. Straight, forward. He's straight edge. Yeah, I am actually, but uh, you know, I still have a couple vices. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> the hard hat. Um, I've got. I'm still failing forward on my L8. I'm very excited to have that. It's talking thing. about the Zoom Live Track L8 uh, multi-track recorder that yeah. we're recording here. He got the exact machine, as we mentioned. I got the exact machine, and I'm still kind of failing at it. But I'm I'm learning more from like little tutorials than much more than the manuals. Oh, yeah, me too. But that's where the rubber meets the road. You actually got to plug the thing in and plug shit in. You can't break it. No. So you were going to try an experiment later on this? Yeah, I thought maybe I'd try it at home or something, but uh, I tried the, that TRRS cable that you can plug into your yeah. cell phone uh-huh. to make remote interviews and stuff. Right. I tried that. I tried to call Wes with it, and I could hear him perfectly, and, and I could hear myself perfectly, but he couldn't hear me. Uh, one of the rings wasn't seated, I bet you. I bet not, because there was a little spot, little space, but it seemed like it was down all the way. But the next day, I plugged it in, and it slid well, in. Well, that's what happened. We'll try it on mine. But why? I'm trying to figure out why, if I could hear him perfectly, why couldn't... One of the rings is not seated, probably. That's a little... It's... You have you have left audio, right audio, and uh, you have in... And then one of those is uh, an in, in input... My voice going out to him, something I don't know. Well, I want to try it. I want to let's try to do this on well, yours. What am I, Alan exactly. Parsons? You're Alan Carr. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that, man. So I, maybe I'm not wired that way. Well, you, you, I mean, and I do mean wired. Yes, I think you do. But okay, let's. So at the end of this, uh, at the end of this uh, session, let, let's end this, and then I'll go downstairs. You can take my phone, plug it into your thing. Okay, I'll call you. All right, you call me from your my phone. Okay. Okay. All right, no problem, man. All right, man. Don't worry too much. Okay. I don't think your machine's broken. Okay, or you go downstairs and call, and I'll well, switch about, places. Suppose I just take my phone and drive somewhere far away and call <laughs> yes. you. Yes. Why? <laughs> and then I got another problem. Like, it's not a problem, but it seems da and ting. What is it, man? Like, you know, did you see what I just yeah, said? Yeah, I heard you, man. Like Goofy. dumping, after you record the podcast episode here, you dump it into Logic Pro. Yeah, I could record directly to Logic Pro. Yeah. But then I have to use the headphone uh, mixer and all that. This is easier. But What's okay. hard about it? Do you have a card reader? Yes. Take the take the XD card out, put it in the card reader, slide, you know, put it on your desktop. Yeah, but like for me right now, do I really need to worry about all no, that? No, no, you got to, no, why would you? I, I, like for, Unless you run out of room and you just need to store it on your hard drive. Well, that's different, I would do that. But I want to learn this L8, it seems so much easier than Cubase. Yeah, better L8 than never. <laughs> Duh. It's only taken you how long, man? I'm just, I'm glad you're finally doing. Well, I just want basic things. Yeah, that's all you need. You know, I don't want to devote the rest of my life to trying to master this shit. You just need a, a clean signal. Yeah. You need a mic and you need a keyboard and maybe a click track if you want to do anything like yeah, uh, sending me files, whatever. Yeah, and then like for music recording too, but for like those little preset things, uh, what do you call those things? What do you mean? Those little uh, pa- audio They're pads. pads. Yeah. You can load them. Yeah, but I understand you can e- even load like a show intro on one. Of course. And that way it's all self-contained here and it'll go to that uh, card. Yeah. Then you don't have to do anything on any DAW. No, man. So but it's, you it's might all... want to do some audio processing. But it's all self-contained. Yeah. 
That's pretty cool, man. You That's can, you geeky can, as hell. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can engineer. You can you can do the audio processing to the to stereo track directly from this. Well, that's really all. Mix I need. it and use that. You it, don't it, have to do anything uh, off out of the box, man. Well, it's a fabulous little machine. I love it. It's the only thing that has mixed minus. There's a Rode one, Rodecaster. Yeah, that's a good one. I think they're this, the they're the first ones that had. A yeah, but mixed I like minus. I like yeah. Well, I'm not sure about that. Okay, but I uh, you you can use this as a live mixer. Mm-hmm. It's a fun. It's a good little machine. But you you need powered speakers for that. Yeah, of course. But that's a kind of cool thing. I think I need want to get a little case for it. Uh, yeah, it, why not? It's expensive. The case? Yeah. It'll be more expensive to break the machine. Yeah, that's true. You can't really put it in a garbage bag and you can, carry hey, it man, around. Protect your stuff. Yeah, and you don't want to carry it around in the box it came in. Oh, just carry it under your arm without in a towel. <laughs> Imagine it in slow motion coming out of your arm, coming out of the towel, hitting the sidewalk, and just... Sure. Exploding. Like your phone just sl- did. Yeah, well. Well, your phone didn't explode. Oh, I dropped my phone. But uh, it- I was sitting on my porch, and it just slid off my lap, and of course, it slapped face down. <laughs> but I think it's just the screen protector. Well, I'm pretty sure. You'll find out. It was just like like a foot. A foot down. Oh, that's not much of a fall. Well, it chipped it. Hopefully, the screen protector did its job. If not, you know, whatever. No, I'll, I'll just throw this phone away in disgust. It's an XR. Yeah, I just got it though about eight months ago. That's cool. No, it's you know everybody, everybody breaks that stuff sometimes. Yes, everybody breaks sometimes. Break, it breaks down like a little girl. No, but it's, I, and I also saw a hack like someone else complained they couldn't get audio from the caller. Yeah, and they say the the hack after I went down this little comment section on a YouTube tutorial. Yeah, it said plug in the phone first and then plug it into there. I don't. Okay. Know. Well, we'll see. Oh, well, you know this is this is engaging. I must say. Well, some people might like it. Maybe that's cool, or or not. But we'll go to something else now. Okay, uh, moving on. Moving on, dude. The store has been ridiculously busy, as you know. Oh yeah. The quote-unquote season is ending this weekend. Thank God. Here in sunny Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now, you know, now it's just uh, people shuffling around with a dazed look in their... Oh, they do. They do. Um, because in everyone, groups like walkers. But they all know it's over. So yeah. They're kind of mad and Slouching sad toward Gomorrah. And slouching toward Bethlehem. <laughs> Who wrote Beth- that? Bethlehem, PA. Who wrote that? Joan Didion? I don't know. No, I don't know. I forgot who wrote that. Anyway, slouching to- toward Bethlehem. I think I that thought was... it was slouching toward Gomorrah. There's, I don't think so. I mean, maybe it is something else. Don't look back. Other titles can have slouching in them. They're, you know, some yeah. authors are no slouch. Oh, <laughs> some are. Some slouch because they're bent from writing all, all day long. They can't straighten up. Oh, that's right, man. That's uh. Anyway, this today. Is Sunday. It's busy. The we'll, we'll go down to like reduced hours on Monday, and uh, I think the summer will still have some um, residual people coming. Yeah, well, I'm ready for it to be over. Yeah, well, it and I'm is. sure you guys that work at night are happy, except your hours could be cut a little bit. Yeah, everyone's hours are cut. Yeah, mine are cut, but I understand that you're gonna you're gonna um, help me out all through the off season. I am. Yeah. How's that? I don't know. I'll, I'll work. You can you can have my out. job. Okay, I'll take your shift and you take mine. No, I just you can have my job. Just have it. Yeah, I'm not gonna work anymore. You're generous. That's okay, man. I don't mind just hanging around doing nothing and making no money. But what's the difference? <laughs> you, if you go to the store, you hang around doing nothing and you make money. But yeah, that's I'm true. talking about you, not me. I'm the lounge manager. <laughs> that's what I've been. I've been uh, anointed by the by the customers. The lounge yeah, the guys, manager. That's that's crazy. That's funny, dude. I could see it. Um, yeah. Well, who who cleaned the filters? Who replaced the rabbit air filters yesterday? Who cleaned the uh, the mini split filters? Who emptied the vacuum cleaner uh, bucket that never gets emptied? Oh yeah, that's right. It was me. You want a medal? 
I want to raise. You know why there's a residue in the vacuum cleaner? Why? Because somebody vacuums. Uh, yeah, well, can't the person that vacuums empty the canister? That's a very good point. By the way, the filters are a bloody mess. I have to change those tomorrow, too. Oh, man, you got your work cut out for you, well, dude. You guys help me out here, man. Help me out here, dude. Do it, man. Oh, my God. Chris is the the be-all and end-all. I got too much on my plate, man. You do? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, that's you do. I'm trying to figure out. I got out. a lot of anxiety, man. That's a lot to have on anyone's plate. I'm very sorry you have to go through that. I'm very sorry I have to go through it, too. Uh, the fight or flight gets all screwed up. Every day. I mean, it's all messed up, man. Oh, I am so Not sorry. Not right now, finally. Mine does, too, some some ways, but I just smile. When I saw you pull up, I got a little anxiety, but now I'm all right. And you saw me with my little uh, leather-bound uh, legal pad. Marching, slouch, slouching in here, about to boss me around as usual. I don't boss you around. Bullshit. Well, ch- <laughs> I don't think I do. I just want to keep things going. Okay, so, uh, okay, keep so, yeah, going. yeah, you're, you're the self-appointed. Yeah, because I don't, like, I don't uh, want it to be like, I'll see how I feel kind of thing. Oh, because I, you, I'm my mom. We'll see, Raj, just see how you feel tomorrow. Hey, m- Mom, you want to go uh, go walk, take a walk? No, I don't feel, I'll see how I feel in the, tomorrow. That was her MO. Yep. Uh, I'm just like her, man. Oh, uh, yes, you are. But she's teaching me from her life. She is? No. We have her <laughs> journals somewhere. And I just found a bunch of old letters and things yesterday that I... I've been had boxed up since my mom passed away. Heavily redacted. No, not those letters. I mean, just like <laughs> like she kept cards. She kept oh, old stuff mementos like that. when yes. we were kids. I I I look forward and some of her little journal little notes. Man, very profound. Oh, very sweet. I can't she wait to read it. Highly intelligent, man. Oh well, she was. Very, and she's a good writer. Was a good writer. She was. Mom called herself a dilettante. That's okay. No, I understand. She could uh, be called worse. She could be, and she probably was. <laughs> My who, Dad? No, I don't know. But speaking of Dad, there's uh, good luck finding any letters between the two of them. Oh no, 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 no! I, I uh, when I was visit when I, Betsy and I were dating when I was in Charlotte mm-hmm. at Maria's upstairs by the bedroom. I I was in Linder Hill and Matthews. Yeah, yeah. I found this big box of letters, man, oh, shit. in the closet, like oh, behind. Oh, shit. And I just read, opened one, and I realized it was mom and dad's little correspondence. Yeah, and it magically disappeared when my when when, when mom, mom died. When mom died, it magically disappeared? Yeah, but man, I'll tell you, that had all the secrets in there. I should have read a letter a night. Yeah, you should have, but I mean, God forbid you find, I mean, like, good, oh. good luck finding any of that now. Oh, no, 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 no. Some, the powers that be have seen to it that they're gone. That, that what we have is now curated for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's curated. And I, I, I just had a thought that's just passed right through my mind. It's going the other way now. It's gone? gone. Gone out the other side. Like brain cells. Curated. Get you some. Uh, it's better than heavily redacting if you if they just disappear. Well, re- yeah. Well, then, yeah. Exactly. Can you With imagine? Big black Can lines. you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine we, we find them and they got <laughs> Sharpie, the thick sharp Rem- the magic yeah. marker lines through. I want to talk. Yeah. I've been meaning to write you about. I'm so sorry about. <laughs> and we're going to talk about. <laughs> we. I know, I know we're still toge- we're, we're just going to stay married, but... But Carl, what about your... <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't... I can't help it. Remember when we were... <laughs> and that time, that other time we were... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That slap and tickle that produced uh, the Yale brothers. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, please. Think that about one, that. The one time... The- the one time, one time slap and tickle. The one time, maybe there were more than one times, but I, I, I <laughs> not not I, according to Paul or our our, uh, <laughs> our brother, God rest him. Ooh, this is some heavy. The last time, last time, mommy, <laughs> <laughs> was when you guys were born. <laughs> it's like, shut up, Paul. What shut was he up. like? Did he have a little peephole? Yeah, something. <laughs> Who's what there? You, what do you do? Who's me? there? Me, me. <laughs> Oh my God. That's another story. So remember when you and E Raj and and E was at the door and, and we were and yeah okay all right 
Who's there? You, you had the feeling that you were being watched. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that, but oh, that, I mean, I would love to have seen those letters between mom and yeah. dad. Yeah, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Was there the, the, the bunch of them? Oh, man, lots of them. So instead of like a romantic relationship, they wrote letters back and forth? Yeah, but, you know. Did you ever see them being romantic? Uh, No. No, me either, kind of. Maybe except toward the end, they were friendly again. Yes, I. Oh, I love that picture of them. They were for the, for a brief moment when mom was visiting, and then dad sh- died shortly thereafter. Yeah, hmm. that was nice. They had a little bit of happy closure of some sort. And yeah, <laughs> remember, remember the the, <laughs> the what the picture of my dad's old Capri, dad's Caprice. Yeah, who's standing outside by the Magic Hotel. Yeah, that's, that's the a one. lovely picture, man. Yeah. That's um, maybe I can find it. Yeah, I think I got it somewhere too. I know I have. <clears throat> hey man, yeah. Uh, how, how do you like the old Bull and Bush pub? I thought that was a fun little pub. It's a it's a different scene from Lulu's. Different personality. Small small uh, neighborhood bar, kind of a pub. It's a yeah. pub. Everyone was friendly. We had a bunch of friends come. It was packed in there, but it was an open. You know, there's not a bad seat, and no. we, we had to bring our own PA. But our own, old PA sounded damn good yeah that it's still good like non non-powered speakers yeah well it's old and heavy but i'm it i can't we can't justify buying another pa right now Are stuff much lighter than that are you kidding me <laughs> oh, it's, no? uh, the technology is completely vastly improved and I mean, efficient look at the l8 look how light it you is can take this how take much do you think monitor. you would have to pay for something that kind of stuff 20 years this ago? This is a recording studio in a box. Yes, sir. Okay, 20 years ago, you would you expect that's... this. I have a Yamaha AW 2816. Yeah, with a 16 CD channel. burner. Uh, and in 2001 or two, it cost me $2,000. That's ridiculous. And this is better. It is. Well, it, they, that thing had automated faders. It had its benefits. But no, the... the Audio quality and what you can do with this is great. You know, we don't need the automated faders. Sometimes you sound Canadian. The audio qual- quality. Sometimes you sound... Uh, <laughs> sometimes you... Beep, 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 beep. You sound uh, Yinzer. Oh, yeah, I hope so. I hope so, you jag off. You kind of have some, like a weird little South Southern California accent with something weird. It's some Pittsburgh. Some ethnicity going on of some No, there's something. Something, Something's very wrong with us. Uh, I don't know. Are we on the spectrum? I, 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 I don't know. The I, older I, I get, the more I'm led to believe that possibly. I think uh, perhaps also because our flight or, fight or flight response, our emotional intelligence. Hey, I melted down that. in the store the other day. I was there. It wasn't as bad as you made it, but it was a little weird, dude. Well, uh, hey, man, I, I, it was full on, man. It, it, short of falling down on the floor, flailing, crying. Yeah, you could. Well, you wouldn't. Man, I, I, oh, man, I was coming unglued. And it was something basic. Well, it was just the the straw. Speaking of Canada, it was it, the straw that broke broke me, man. It was a a guy from Canada was calling, wanting an email of a certain type of tobacco. Wanted an email, wanted a mail of a certain type of tobacco, and, and just, it became this complicated oh. thing. Well, it was him. Yeah, send uh send it down to to Vermont or something up to Vermont. My friend's gonna bring it over the border, but can you do two uh seven ounce bags because we each get to have two bags? It's like oh, it's my not God. even it's not even a pound of tobacco. It's like I almost felt like saying no, dude. I'm not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that, dude. Oh man, you know just uh, oh oh, but it was Friday, Thursday. He goes and it needs to be there by. Sunday. He's gonna leave on Sunday. It's like really okay. Well, you're paying overnight for this. Which wasn't bad. It was twenty six ninety five. Ooh, holy cow! And I hated for fourteen I, ounces of tobacco. I hated to see the da- Oh, the shipping was shipping. Yeah. Well, I hated to see the damage it did to your psyche. Uh, how about my body? Yeah. Well, I punched you the other day. That should have been more painful. Well, it wasn't as painful as me grabbing your, squeezing your nipple. Yeah. Well, I didn't like that. So obviously, you had to. <laughs> While get Raj punched. was driving, I had an overpowering urge to to give him a purple derple, man. I think anybody that happens to is uh, is going to lash out he went ape shit man and he hit me just right i wanted went with his side yeah of it was like i didn't oh. i wanted it to be straight on but it was like a hammer down man i it, i felt like i got stabbed in the arm man ah oh. you got a bruise i still have a bruise uh, I, I i'm older now take well hey man even the losers get takes, lucky sometimes t- yeah it takes longer to 
recover, man. Well, you want like you want one on the other side to even it up a little bit. No, you try. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pull I'm pull a knife on you, man. Yeah. See. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, remember our friend Roger Dollarhide? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was an engineer, a friend of ours. At Paramount Recording. Yeah. Uh, he said our- He was in love with our cousin, Leekai. Yes, and uh, Leekai. He said, Leekai pulled a gun on me. <laughs> it wa- it was Chris's Crossman uh, it's a pellet. beat pellet gun. It looked, it looked like, like a 45. Like Leekai pulled a gun on me. Yeah. yeah. Well, he wouldn't leave him alone, man. So, pull a gun. <laughs> we were at, we, at my little uh, apartment. I, I guess we were just partying. They send one of yours to the hospital. You send one of theirs to the mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, the Chicago. That's the Chicago way. Yeah, of course it is, man. Uh, then it's with a total contrast to the Bull and Bush, which is nice kind of cheers like. Yeah. We, then we did the Lulu's gig. That was kind of cool. It's still uh, strangely busy for the last hurrah. There was, a, I guess, it was the beginning of the Labor Day weekend. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm just glad, man. You're glad what? The season's over. Yeah. I it's, know. We're all exhausted. Yeah, I guess so. It I has... need I need a re- spiritual revival of some sort and a physical uh Well, there's a tent. Recharge. I saw some guys setting up a tent over there. Over a revival tent? A re- tent revival. I need there. an oxygen tent. I hope not. When they pulled you out of the oxygen you tent. You asked for the, the latest lead. party. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I'm burned out on David Bowie. Well, it's going to take me ten years to want to listen to Bowie again. I'm much as I love Bruce. I'm burned out on Bruce. It's funny. I like Bruce now a little. Bit. I love. I, mean, Bruce. I liked him before, but I've been listening to him at the store and all that. But guess what? I've been listening to Melissa Etheridge. Oh, did you hear Lefsitz, uh Yeah, that's what got me the interview. Yeah, but I'm going through her catalog, and you can tell she loves Bruce. Just listen to her songs. I didn't. I didn't have the patience to get through almost two hours of Melissa Etheridge. I, I did. She's Lefsitz. good. She's good, man. Uh, although I did, I'm still halfway through the Daryl Hall Lefsitz. I'm, uh, I'm sure that's good. That's pretty cool. But uh, so what? No, I can't. Like, so no, I'm uh, not coming to your window. No, so so no, she doesn't want you to to come to your her window. But no, I so, mean, I, I'm sure she's great. But I didn't want to hear her yammering on for two hours. Was that was that any good? No, she was good. Uh, she's very good. But but uh, uh, it's twelve string though all the time. Okay. I need. Should I bust out my twelve string? Wait, who? Um, what's his name should Tom? i bring a 12 string to a gig that's up to you it needs to be fit. it needs shit. to be uh set up man well okay well, i'm s- not it's too much i'll set it up for I'm, you i'm sorry that i bought that 12 string i should have just bought a six string talk talk and uh talk. i don't know it was talk yeah. of mine i like it talk i mean i don't like playing it live oh it's okay you just made me forget something really cool i was gonna say just if you want that effect just put a damn chorus on <laughs> chorus a chorus line not that no that's like the the pedal board it's yeah. called a chorus line line i array. just made that up yeah yeah i can tell hey, that's kind of cool look at my chorus line oh five six seven eight yeah I, yeah there you go uh dude i got this weird email the other day it looked so real oh it was from paypal it says from service at paypal and i've got legit emails from them yeah and it's like it looked real. It, it, it derailed. It totally it had me going. It totally derailed uh, my morning. You know what I mean? I have this to-do list, and I hear, here's this shit. What did it say? It's it been said, suspended? Invoice from billing department of PayPal. Oh, bullshit. But, it, I mean, it, it looked, it was spoofed. So I was like saying the billing department sent me an invoice for $600 USD. And there's this big-ass button. Oh, that's... It says view and pay invoice. Uh-uh. They don't do that. The thing looks so legit. I mean, but at the t- but one giveaway was hello PayPal user. Yeah, dude. Instead of hello Roger Yale. Immediate. Blah, blah, blah. No, you don't want to find. You got to log in and you can check everything. No, I, I did. I, I logged in. Nothing going on. But I sent it to the spoof department. Oh yeah. So they had is it, that right I, next door to the billing department? I think so. They have the. <laughs> and I sent it to phishing at paypal and then they have spoof too but i could see people falling for it but oh yeah people do all the time but it looked so damn legit dude dude they if, would just take it out of your paypal account yeah i know like they're sending you an invoice yeah, right that's look look said invoice from billing department set saying the bill billing department sent me an invoice 
for like Walmart gift card. And then at the bottom, Walmart gift card. And then for the Walmart gift card. Oh, no, no, no. And then at the bottom, it looked like a legit email. But then at the bottom, the fine print was about to say, you, it looks like you've been illegally charged $600. La la la! Please contact. Call this number. So I, I Google that number. Nothing. It's not. It's not the PayPal customer service. Of course line. it isn't, man. Why'd you go but through all that? But it said or call or contact customer service. But check this out. That's down there to make it look legit. They want to get you at the button, dude. Why would you waste all your time on it, that? It, 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 it scared the me. Obvious. Why didn't you immediately log on, man? That, I did. Well, I mean, why would you waste your morning with that? It kind of. I don't like interruptions like that. Yeah. It was terrible, Jerry. I hate that shit. They kept ringing the bell. <laughs> Kramer talking about bus. The bus he was on with someone's pinky toe and fighting off a mugger, and and the bus driver passed out. So he had took over driving the bus. Then the bugger woke up and he was still fighting him off, trying to get the pinky toe to the hospital. To the, but, the, and, uh, but then, you know, I, I have fighting off the guy, making stopping. And, and they go, did you make, wait a minute, you made the stops? He goes, they kept ringing the bell. <laughs> that was yeah. my favorite Seinfeld thing. Pretty good, all. man. But I could see people falling for that spoofy stuff. All the time. I'm still trying to figure out how to read a book. I'm reading that book oh, still, The Mortimer Adler. It's a little bit much, but it's interesting. Are you reading? Remember we pulled over to the little free library? We always kind of lurk. Yeah. Um, nothing in there. No. Nope. Nothing really in there. Are we supposed to put books in there? You're not supposed to do any if you want to. I don't want to get rid of any of my books. Well, sometimes I do. I sometimes would too. I'll I'm put just them kidding. in front of Pepper Gettings Gym. They have one. Oh, that's nice too, man. Well, too many books. Well, this <laughs> too many books. I have too many. It, this the place is too small. I want to be more efficient. Just throw them all out. I mean, give I them throw, give them away. There's you can throw books out if you feel like I it. I don't want that's a sacrilege. I know you you it, psychologically it feels weird, but psychologically yeah. it feel, feels weird talking to you right now. So, well, too bad. Let's try something we don't have to look at each other. So I've had I've had fun. I have to go to the tinderbox and work. Well, I'm just been giving you the side eye. That's okay. Right. Like the the punchy, uh, uh, the statue of punch in our, the in store. our store. Giving this, it looks like me. They say it does. I'm gonna be him for uh, Halloween. Good. I dare you. I'm gonna do it. All right. So you want to try this experiment? Yeah. Or what, you like got to... anything else here? I don't have anything else, but it would be interesting to try. Okay. And so what what I want to do is I want to sit where you are and I'm going to call you when you're far away. Very, very far away. And I want to see how you set it. And uh, thank you very much. It's kind of a geeky little episode, but I'm glad to be back. Hey, who are you calling geeky? Okay, nerd, oh, wait, actually, nerdy. All I did was nod and grunt, so I mean, I guess it's you. Nerdy. <laughs> nerdy. Dor- right. Dorky? Yeah. By the way, do you remember that beep? Remember that cool night we had with <laughs> redacted? Yeah, heavily redacted. heavily redacted. Remember those two chicks and we were <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. No. No, I know. Uh, I don't. But remember <laughs> giddy up. So, all right, we're the Yale brothers. Thank you so much, guys. Good to be chatting with you, Raj, and um, YaleBrothers at gmail.com if you'd like to get in touch with us. Yes, right? but, but let's see. And then thanks, everyone. I want to see this last, but just end with this last little experiment. Okay. All right. All right, everybody. So all right. See you next time for episode Swasso Nerf. This was, episode, this was episode 68, and, <laughs> you know, headed toward the 69, you got to rock and roll. Man, this is Raj. Chris just taught me how to plug this in i did the same thing at the house but i couldn't hear audio but the 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 cord didn't go in all the way so we think it's another band another channel that didn't get recognized and here's the result i'm going to call chris right now and here we go hello chris yale please Hold on. Is this the party to whom I'm speaking? Chris. <laughs> oh my God, who's good?
Hello? All right. I know you're still in the house, so I could hear you talk a little bit before the audio reaches my ear, but I, at least, can you hear me? Wait, wait who, wait, who is this? This is your brother. Oh, man. Cool. Oh, my God. Listen. Okay, now I'm outside. Okay, let's keep talking for a second. This is... Um, this is pretty straightforward, and I'm sure it has nothing to do with my unit. It's got to have everything to do with me. So, it doesn't your unit have everything to do with you? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> G so U- listen, G man. unit. So the problem you had was the, like I said earlier, the TRRS. You didn't have the, yeah, you didn't have the last ring pushed all the way in. Oh, what are you, the Lord of the Rings? Apparently, I am, man. What are you, the Lord of the Flies? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got to tell you, I appreciate your tutorial, your your vast knowledge. So, uh, well, I just want to make a quick to see a vast, vast knowledge base. Totally. Yeah, you do. Not, not, okay. Not. Well, listen, I love you, man. Thank you for doing this. This is great. I'll try. Right, love you. Too. One, one day we'll just. I won't even have to come over here. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I look forward to that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just what do kidding. I do now? Just push this little uh, orange square. Uh. Press the stop button. That's I mean, it. I'll just hang up and then just give it a space and then just turn it off. I'll just come back up it's, there It's now. the orange square. The orange square is stop? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Now there's going to be a delay. I can hear him. I'm going to hang up. Okay. Uh, well, you don't have to hang up. You can. I like delay. Are we off the air? We're off the air. Good. Chris, the radio bloopers. Okay. Right there. Okay, bye. <laughs> 